What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports of the Bone here again man. Shout out to all the viewers, the subscribers and the followers. Big up on yourself. So the Jamaica Cricket Association selection panel recently named their squad for the upcoming 50 over tournament to be held in Antigua. Now the squad seems to be full of youngsters. You know, we don't really see a lot of seasoned campaigners in the squad. I mean, we have a couple of persons that would have been in and around the, the setup for a while now. But, you know, we don't really have a lot of players there with international um, experience. You know, we would have looked at the Trinidad and Tobago squad the other day. And we, we, you know, we would have seen a lot of players in that squad with international experience. So, so we're going to take a look at the Jamaica Scorpion squad and see what's happening there as a matter of fact the team will be captained by Ravman Powell somebody that isn't the most experienced in the world Powell will be supported by his vice captain Derval Green who you know is expected to shoulder a good amount of the bowling workload yeah man so we would have seen over the past couple of seasons where Derval Green you know he has been performing very well for the Scorpions especially with the ball so he will be expected to do a good amount of the work um, for, for the Scorpions where the bowling is concerned. Now just to run through the squad quickly um, this is what the squad sounds like we have Ravman Powell as captain, Derval Green as vice captain Alden Thomas, Thomas, we have O'Shane Thomas, Brandon King, Paul Palmer, Fabian Allen, we have Jeremy Merchant, um, Javar Royal, Odin Smith, Sheldon Cottrell, we have Dennis Bully, not really familiar with that player, Javel Glenn, we have Romaine Morris and Andre McCarthy. So a couple of players there with international um, experience but uh, some of the, the names don't readily jump at you so you know that um, they are not the most experienced um, players there but you know we just have to hope that this team will fare well as they go they represent Jamaica on paper I wouldn't say this is the strongest squad um, that Jamaica would have sent to a, a tournament but um, I guess you just have to use um, the players that you have and make the best use of it Alright, so let's just take a quick look at the schedule for the Jamaica Scorpions. So, they will be taking on the Trinidad and Tobago Red Force first. And that game will come up on the 9th of February. Then, you know, they will take on the Windward Islands on the 15th of February. Then comes next Barbados on the 18th. And they will close off that round against the Leeward Island on the 21st of February. You know, so those are expected to be some good games. Especially... Um, going up against the Trinidad and Tobago Red Force first, <laughs> you know, that um, that one is supposed to um, give them a good test to see where the team is at and how well they will be able to go down into this tournament. As I said earlier, you know, um, a team might look very strong on paper, but um, it depends on, the, on who is able to go there and execute on the day. So uh, we just have to keep our fingers crossed that this team will be able to um do it or uh, we'll be able to go all the way yeah man so there you have it folks um that's what the jamaica scorpions team look like as i said earlier ravman powell will be captain in the team and his vice captain will be derval green the season campaigners are the the, per, the the players that are expected to lead from the front we also have somebody like a sheldon cattrell that would have played a lot of cricket for west indies and a lot of franchise cricket around the world somebody like uh, andre mccarthy you know who has been on the scene for a very long time odin smith you know he has been here um for a good while just the same and um paul palmer you know a seasoned campaigner also so that is what the, the squad looks like so you know we just have to keep our fingers crossed and see what's going to happen yeah man so as i said earlier let me know what you think in the comment section about this squad um in comparison to trinidad and tobago squad that we have looked at thus far how do you think the the, the jamaica squad match up sports to the bone keeping you informed please remember to like share leave us a comment if you have not yet subscribed remember to subscribe to the channel i'm out